What might explain the lean mass hyperresponder triad? Well, this is the one section where I'm going to talk a tiny bit of biochemistry, but don't worry. I'm going to keep it laser focused on those key elements. This is, of course, the boat, what's known as a lipoprotein, and it's a vehicle for transporting lipids in the blood. And in particular, we're interested in very low density lipoproteins, VLDL, which precedes LDL. And it comes from the liver, and it's rich in triglycerides, typically triglycerides that were assembled from fat you got from around the body. Triglycerides are the storage form of fat. So you have this boat, it's packed full of lipids, both triglycerides and cholesterol, but also fat-soluble vitamins and many other things that your body uses. And the lipid energy model, it centers on this high turnover of triglyceride-rich lipoproteins. So they're all packed tightly with all of these triglycerides. And with this VLDL turnover, we have three things I want to draw your attention to. And it's three things among many, but these three are the most important. First, the VLDL that's rich in triglycerides, it's going to turn into a triglyceride-poor LDL. Why is it doing that? Why is it going from something large to something small? Well, it's because it's dropping off its cargo. It's dropping off those triglycerides into the cell. And through some different enzymatic activities, this gets accomplished. There's something else that's kind of important that probably most of you don't know about, which is that there's a fleet of HDL particles nearby that are small, and they actually pick up a number of the components that come off of this process. So it can be a little bit messy. Yes, there can actually be, as the VLDL is shrinking, and it's dropping off those pieces, the pieces that can get picked up from small HDL can ultimately result in large HDL. That's kind of how I like to describe it now for lay people, which is that you could think of ApoB lipoproteins like our VLDLs. Their job is to start large and get small whereas the job for HDL is to start small and get large, but they can only do it through this process. And this helps explain lean mass hyperresponders because more secretion and turnover of VLDL into LDL could result in higher LDL concentration. You're mobilizing more of these triglycerides into the bloodstream. But because of this turnover, of these ApoB lipoproteins, it's liberating more of these components to be picked up by HDL, and that could explain the higher HDL cholesterol. And intrinsic to this, when you're metabolically healthy, the lower triglycerides are going to result from this increased turnover. That can explain the lower triglycerides and why this triad seems to be so ubiquitous across all these different populations, all these ages, all these ethnicities, 